Hello everyone, I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. This is my last day to use the Whale Done Suite. This suite is perfect for creating boy cards. I mean, what boy doesn't like, like underwater creatures? And that's what this set has along with some other um, Things you would find under the water, like seaweed and coral, and there's some bubbles for the fish. So, great set, and I love the, my love for you is bigger than the ocean, and you're kind of a big deal. Those are cute sentiments. And the set, as a bundle, comes with this punch, which punches out the um, whale, and gives you some other little pieces, some water from this, his spout and things like that. Along in that, with that product in this suite are the DSP papers and these are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is just so cute. And then there's the back. All of our paper is double sided. There's those cute turtles and some more sea netting. Um, a bunch of turtles swimming and some seaweed, coral, whatever you want to call it. it. looks like seaweed since it's green to me. And there's those seahorses and some waves. I mean, you could use this even for beach pictures. Sea nettles, some more seaweed. There's those whales. And the punch punches out the whales. So you can use them for that. And I actually did that today and some more waves, and just a collage of pictures from the stamp set, and some bubbles. And then there are some scenes which I think are great for creating a card, um, quick and easy. I shared a couple of these at the beginning of the week if you missed it. So 48 sheets, um, they're six by six, so some great papers to use in your scrapbooking or to make cards. And there's the card we're going to make today. I used some offcuts that I had left when I cut down my sheets earlier this week to make my cards. So we're going to get started with that. All right, the first thing I needed is a piece of pool party and my three pieces of DSP. All the measurements can be found on my blog. And while you're there, if you are a paper crafter and don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love for you to be part of my um, newsletter community. Links below, sign up and join us. All right, I've got my three pages ready to go. I have found to start with the one in the middle, and I didn't open up my new glue, forgot that. You get so excited about doing something and then forget to do the little the little tasks you have to get done, like unwrapping your glue. All right, now, what I do is I put this in the middle, and this is five and a fourth. So two and three-fourths are close. One, two, and three-fourths are close to the middle. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this down just a little bit so I can get a little bit closer. One, two, and three-fourths is the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the same amount of lines or as close as possible if it's off a little it's it's not going to be visible too much and then I like the glue because it gives me a little wiggle room and I can tell this is too far over I'm going to take it off real quick all right so it's five and a fourth so two and a half um oh it's two and five eighths one two and then five eighths which is there. It's off just slightly. 
All right. Let me see here. I've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Ooh, it's gonna stick on me. Slide it over a little. That looks better. I tried to do it, measuring it out. I'd have been better off to just take and, uh, um, it's crooked, eyeballing it. All right, now this one's going to go here, and I am going to eyeball this one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the middle. <clears throat> ah, jeez. Do you ever have one of those days? And I'm watching my tops and bottoms because I want them even. And then I'm watching the spacing. And I've got some glue there that's going to stick on things. So I'm going to take and wipe it off. All right, there. Now I can put this last one on. For a quick and easy card, this sure is taking a lot of my time and effort. But I'm getting there, and see, it's still not even. Oh, you know what? I did it wrong. Okay, it's a good thing Jake won't care if it's off or not. I can't get this off, I don't think, because I've stuck it down with glue, and it's, if I did go carefully, um, actually, Do the two sides first and then do the middle. That's why I was having so many issues. It's not too bad. Okay. All right, not too bad. This one's got a little bit more space than I want here. Can I get it off? I took that other one off and on so many times it wasn't funny. Let me see. Now, I'm going to mess it up. So, I will center this one. So, do your two sides and make your spacing even on the sides. And then you can add the last piece in the middle and center it. So, at least it's centered a little bit better. All right, there we go. Once I add the piece on top, it's not going to, you're not going to see it. Okay, so... Then I'm going to take a piece of white and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there. And I'm going to stamp it right about there. And it was lost when I put it on my card front or my panel. It just didn't pop. So I had just scraps left of my pretty peacock. So I'm going to take and I'm going to add some glue to it and just a little bit because I don't want it to ooze out. And then I'm going to take and add, I'm going to flip this around. There we go. And I can adjust it because I've used the glue and then when I do the bottom piece I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to use about the same amount showing and then I'm going to stick it down and that way I have a layer and I didn't need a whole piece so if you have that problem there's a solution for you all right now this gets glued down to my card base, or to my panel, I should say. I keep saying card base, but it's to my panel. And I'm kind of going higher than normal because I want to be able to see some of this down here. That is going to go on a piece of white. That's my card base. And I'm going to add that on there. And then the only thing left is that cute whale and like I said, I punched him out of the DSP 
I'm going to have to add a little tiny dot of glue under here because I pulled that up and it's not going to stay down now. There we go. Little dot to hold it in place. Same thing on here. So if you got corners that stick up, put just a tiny dot underneath and stick it down and it'll stay where it's supposed to. All right, so I took the paper and I punched out that whale. Now I wanna give this some stability. So what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna add it to a scrap of white and I can't find my scrap. Here we go. I'm gonna put this on a scrap of white. It's DSP and it, our DSP is a little thicker than most, but even so this is I just, since I'm putting it on dimensionals, if I was putting it flat, it wouldn't matter. <clears throat> so I'm going to put him on there, give it a minute for the glue to grab, and then I'm going to fussy cut around him and cut out his, the image real quick here. And then if you've got some pieces that don't, that are sticking out, that are showing the white, you can trim them up. There's one. I knew there was another spot right there. there. All right. So I've got him now on cardstock. So he's a little bit sturdier than before. I'm going to take some dimensionals. And I'm going to add it to the back put one on his tail and then some up his body to give him some stability and oh no all right I gotta use my fingernails which I hate to do I don't know where my pokey tool is I may have taken it downstairs to do some things and forgot to bring it I was working on some things so all right let's put him right about there and there you have it and then to do the inside and the envelope what I did was I took the whale stamp and I colored it with markers so I used Pacific Point and basic gray and I colored it and then I stamped it I kind of this is the envelope and the envelope doesn't take ink real well so but I did it that way so there you go cute idea and wouldn't this make a great kids birthday card oh, all you have to do in here is you're kind of a big deal happy birthday and go with it I hope you've enjoyed my card today and then I've inspired you to pull out some paper and make some boy cards if you do, make sure you share it with me. I'd love to see them. Thanks for visiting. Have a great day.